Kenyan President Ruto must go. Why? Because he doesn't listen Kenyan people. He listens Somali criminals who burned, destroyed, and ruined Somalia and came to destroy Kenya. Kenyan people, take back your country from these criminals. President Ruto, don't you see? Suffering gripping we Families breaking under stress Over taxation, it's a mess Reject, reject, reject the bill Biden administration hired Hamza Warfa, who was also participated in the campaign of Biden. Uh, they hired him in the State Department to spread peace, stability, uh, democracy, and also uh, protect uh, human rights. Instead of doing that, he, mis he misused that authority and uh, convinced it mostly of the leaders of East Africa to put high ranks in his members of his family. For example, convinced Mr. Ruto, the president of Kenya, to hire uh, Adam Bredouale, who is from his family, Ogadin tribe of Darod, to become the minister, Kenyan minister of defense. So he become the Kenyan defense minister. Now you see him getting weapons from United States of America to kill, you know, other tribes of Somalia. Like Digil and Mirifle, Marrehan, Ela, Galchael, Hawiya, and Marrehan, and other tribes. Mr. Ruto also hired um, Nuruddin Haj Yusuf, Kenya National Intelligence Service. It's also same tribe as Adam Bradu Ali and Hamza Warf from Ogadin, same tribe. Also, Ruto um, hired uh, Nur Gabaw, the Kenyan chief police, Nurgaba, uh, who's also from Ogaden, is the highest rank in Kenya uh, for the police. Ruto also hired Hajir Saleh, uh, the deputy of Interior Ministry. Hajir Saleh is also from Ogaden tribe. Also, uh, Ruto um, hired Hussein, Mr. Hussein, uh, who is from Ogaden, also a uh, 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 Kenya government spokesman. After that, Kenyan leaders, and uh, including Adam Bredu Ali, Minister of Defense of Kenya, traveled to Mogadishu and convinced the President of Somalia to hire Hamza Barra to become the Prime Minister of Somalia. Hamza is also from Ogaden tribe, but you see two Hamzas. Hamza Warfa, who is from Ogaden and also Biden administration, and Hamza, who becomes the Somali Prime Minister of Somalia. They both wrongly supported and helped the ex-Al-Shabaab leader, Ahmed Madobe, who stationed in Kismayo, Jubaland, with the Kenyan Defense Minister, Barradu Ali, and Somali Prime Minister, they are Ogadin also. You see here, Somali Prime Minister, and with Ahmed Madobe, and cooperated each other to, and, kill and um, conquer the cities and the villages of weak tribes. So, you know, there is no democracy. I mean, Mudab is here more than 12 years. No voting, no election, uh, no uh, Islamic law, nothing. Just stay there. America will give you weapons. Kenya will give you weapons. We will give you wealth. Hamza Warfa also convinced the Prime Minister of Somalia, Hamza Barre, to hire uh, and select the uh, his brother means Hamza Warfa's uh, brother Abdullahi Warfa, Abdullahi Warfa, uh, Hamza's brother, to become the Somali ambassador in Addis Ababa, in Ethiopia, which is the ambassador over there now. Corruption. So the two Hamzas are from both Ogaden are working side by side. Build strong Ogaden tribe. Here you see Ahmed Wadobe, the ex-Al-Shabaab leader, with Hamza Warfa, who works also by the administration working together to build strong Ogaden tribe against the other tribes of Somalia to kill, kidnap, rape, uh, make displacement, and many other things. Uh, Ahmed Madobas, Malaysia, the ex-Al-Shabaab uh, Malaysia was trained and also um, they were given 
weapons and also uh, anything they need ammunition weapons uh, everything that the military needs attack destroy and kill and other tribes in somalia but this will have bad consequences all other tribes of somalia will unite and they will fight back against the uh, Ugadin militia trained by Kenya and the Western countries like UK and France. Also United States, and, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I feel sorry that the United States of America is violating the law of the United States of America. Like Lehi law, which prohibits to train, give equipment, military equipment and support to any government that violates the human rights and does not apply democracy. America will become valier here in Kismayo and Jubaland and Somalia by helping this, uh, you know, tribe and these members who doesn't support stable Somalia. Because look, Hamza Warfa is supporting Ahmed Mudabi. He is there 12 years. There's no democracy, no voting, no elections, just the power. And America is helping uh, Ahmed Mudabi. That's wrong. That violates the law of the United States of America. And this against the Lehi law, which prohibits supporting any person, any uh, system that violates human rights and does not uh, 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 accept democracy. So Ahmed Mudaba is ex Al Shabaab and he still is there. So we are giving him weapons, training him to kill other tribes. This will, break, this will cause that all other tribes will unite and will fight. Kenyan troops with the Ogaden Mal militia stationed in Somalia. You see the Prime Minister of Somalia with Ahmed Madobe. Ado is a member of ba Kenyan parliament. He's in Mogadishu. He's from Ogaden. He's with his cousin Hamza Barre from Ogaden also. This is also an, an ex agent for Ethiopia, uh, Hidig. Uh, he's in Mogadishu now from Ogaden. You see, they are Kenyans and they are Somalis. You see Ado with Somali president. So Kenyan is my advice, take your power, your country from these Somali thugs who destroyed Somalia and destroying your country, taking your jobs, your businesses, your land, your villages, your farms. You need to take them down. Take your power from them. They are danger to us and danger to Somalia and to all East African countries. You see the parliament, uh, Yusuf from Isli, Adam Barre and also Somali Prime Minister. They are all Ogadin. Here you see in Nairobi the Prime Minister of Somalia with um, the so-called Sheikh Shakul, who is wanted in the um, in United States of America, who is uh, ex Al Shabaab and also now uh, supports terrorist groups. But he is with, with, with Kenyan government and because of his corruption, the most worst, most corrupted country in Africa is Kenya. Here you see another agent and uh, Kenya National uh, Intelligence Service uh, Chief Nuruddin and, and also another guy from Ogaden. Nuruddin in Jigjigo, Somali region colonized by Ethiopia. This is Akhtar. So they are cooperating each other. Just only Ogaden, no one else. Uh, the problem is the Kenyan president, Ruto, listen is Somali gangster, Somali mafia who are criminals killed so many Somalis. Now they are planning to kill also many Somalis. He doesn't listen real Kenyans, the original Kenyan people. He doesn't listen. So take your country and power from Ruto and kick out these gangsters. Gabu from Magadin, also the chief of police of Kenya. Also, you saw Ruto with Hajar Saleh, the deputy of uh, Interior Ministry, who is also a very dangerous man, a killer, killed, who killed many Kenyans and also Somalis. He's from Magadin also. Hamza Warfa betrayed Somalia, betrayed East African countries and its populations and citizens and violated the law of the United States of America. Support Kenya and support this militia and this tribe to kill other tribes of Somalia. And this will cause that they will fight the American military, Kenyan military and the Ogaden militia because of this injustice. We need a stable country. We need peace, we need a good system, we need good governance, we need reconciliation, we need all that, all that we need. So they are also Somali businessmen, they are taking your jobs, your land, your farms, and Kenyans are very poor people, so you should defend your country because they destroyed their country. You should kick them out, Kenyans. Take back your bow, your country, because they are killing their brothers.
This is Sheikh Omar, you see uh, Hassan working with these intelligences and this. Because they are regarding to also. This is Bashir Hajj, who is stationed in Ismayo and represents Kenyan army. He's from Ogaden. He's in Chubalan of Somalia. He killed so many civilians of Somalia. He's a criminal. Biden administration, shame on you for supporting bloodshed, killing, displacement, and, and gangsterism. Somali people will fight against this militia. And stop supporting militarily, financially, and also politically. Shame on you, Mr. Biden. Kenya people, take your country back from these gangsters. Yeah, I'm going to say. He does.